It looks like I'm in a crowd. I'm in a crowd. Very good. Um, there are beige colored buildings. Mm-hmm. I'm just walking with the other people. Okay, so I'd like for you as you're walking to look down at your feet. What do your feet look like in that crowd? Their bare feet. Mm-hmm. Are they male or female feet? A female feet. Mm-hmm. Tell me what color those feet are. They're light-skinned. Mm-hmm. Take a look at the rest of your body. How are you clothed? Skirt mm-hmm. and a short sleeve, sort of like a peasant skirt. Mm-hmm. How long is the skirt? Below my knees. Mm-hmm. Does it have colors? Blue or gray? Mm-hmm. Take a look at your hands. What do your hands look like? They look like working hands. Mm -hmm. Take a careful look at your fingers, at your fingernails. Mm, they're short. Mm -hmm. They're working hands. Yes. What does the rest of you look like? Look at your face, your hair. you there? Mid-twenties. Mm -hmm. So now that you know what you look like, where are you going? It looks like a gathering in the town. Mm -hmm. Connect with your feelings. How do you feel about this gathering? Like it's something that I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. What is this gathering about? Let's find out. Take me there. There's somebody just talking. trying to tell the people what they should do. Mm -hmm. What does this person look like? He's a man with dark hair and a beard. Mm -hmm. How is he dressed? Mm -hmm. An old, oh, a suit, but not like a modern suit. Mm -hmm. Not really a uniform, but he looks different than everybody else. Is he from that town? Um, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. What is he telling you that you need to do? That you just need to fall in line and to listen. to pay your taxes. They know what's good for you. Mm -hmm. What happens if you don't pay your taxes? They'll be punished. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel what this man is saying? He shouldn't have the right to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Or anybody. So let's find out what happens next.
Where do you go after this? Everybody starts walking away. It's time to go back home. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to close this scene and go back to the place where you live. Back to your home and tell me what your home looks like. It's a brick house, a stone house. It's a stone floor. A cook fire fireplace. Mm -hmm. Inside your home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you live by yourself or are there others there with you? I'm alone right now in the house, but I think somebody lives there with me. Okay. So I'd like for you to close this scene and open up a scene when you are actually having a meal with those in the house with you. See the picture of a young girl? She has a bonnet mm -hmm. or a white hat. Who is this young girl? Uh, I can't tell if she's my younger sister or my daughter. Mm -hmm. Who else is there with you? Just her. I think we're waiting for someone. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens next. There's no food in to eat. Mm -hmm. It's like we're waiting for something. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to move forward in that scene so you could see who it is that you're waiting for and understand. I see a man's face. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? He has a beard, dark eyebrows. I think he's my husband. Mm -hmm. His kind eyes. Look into those eyes. Do they remind you of anybody in the lifetime of Suzanne? No. Now that that man is here, what happens? Has he brought you anything? No, he's empty-handed and mm -hmm. he feels bad. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Jump to the next appropriate scene. It's just like he disappears. Mm -hmm. So connect with your feelings and your knowings. What has happened to your life? I just feel like I'm all alone. Mm -hmm. I'm not angry, I'm not sad. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's close that scene and let's move forward to see what it is that you do most of the day. How do you spend your time with those hands? It's in the garden. Mm -hmm. Picking up 
picking berries. Looking for eggs. Mm -hmm. Is this your garden and your berries? Where do you go for this? It's outside. It's not mine, but I can use the area. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How do you survive? I feel like I just pick things for the garden to give other people. Like I work there. Mm -hmm. But I like being in the I like being in the garden. Mm -hmm. Any other information that you have from this scene? So we're going to close that scene now. Close that scene. I'd like for you to now move to a very important day in that lifetime when something is affecting you. Where are you? Mm-hmm. Are you alone or with others? I'm alone. What's happening? It's raining outside. It's raining outside? I'm all alone. I'm wondering where everybody is. What's happened? But I'm not worried. Mm-hmm. That's just the way it is. I'm mm. alone. How old are you there? Uh, I'm an old woman. Mm -hmm. Do you still work in the garden? No. Who takes care of you? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I can take care of myself. Very good. How do you feel about being alone? It's easy. Mm -hmm. Taking all of those feelings? Are you content with your life? I'm sad because it's different. Mm -hmm. Tell me about I that. I don't have a family. You don't have a family. What's happened to your family? I think everybody's dead. Mm hmm Or they've moved away. Mm hmm And they're busy. I have what I need. Mm hmm Very good. So I'd like for you now to close that scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself now on the last day. And tell me where you are. I'm in my bed. Mm hmm How old are you there? Oh, I'm an old woman. Mm hmm Check in with your body. What's happening with your body? 
It feels heavy. It's hard to move. I just I just want to stay there. I just want to be alone. I just want to just want to try to sleep. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and just close your eyes and just go to sleep and take your last breath in that lifetime and just slip out of that body. Slip your spirit out of that body and leave that body behind, so tired, so sleepy. And as you look at that lifetime, take a look at what the purpose and lessons were from that life. What did you learn? It's okay to be alone. Mm -hmm. People tell you what to do, but not because it's in your best interest. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just have to, to be away and not follow everybody. Mm -hmm. To be alone and peaceful. Very good. So take a look around you and see if your guide is with you. Is your guide there waiting for you? I don't see him. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to tell me where it is that your spirit goes. What happens after you've left that body behind? Drifting, I see the star. Mm -hmm. What else? I see a bright light. Mm -hmm. Like it's a person with two people beside them, two other bright lights. Mm -hmm. How do they make you feel? Mm -hmm. My body's tingling. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. What does it look like in that space time? White. Mm -hmm. I can see through it. Mm -hmm. So, who are these lights that you see, these figures? Go ahead and ask them who they are. Who are they? They are me. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going in through them, mm -hmm. just being absorbed into the body. And I go right through them, and they go through me. Mm -hmm. Sort of a dance, but not a dance. Mm -hmm. I feel like love. Mm -hmm. Absorb that love. How does that love affect you? It's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Why did you have to go through such ordeals in that life? such loneliness where this is how it's supposed to be why such contrast when you're in that body
tell me what you're experiencing now. Or just being. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with that love, that pure love and feel the essence of who you truly are, the oneness of it all. And from that perspective, you could see all of it. You can understand from a different perspective. absorb it all in. What information do you receive from that? Well, this is the most important thing. And it's self-love. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if anybody else loves you. It's nice. You need to love yourself. You can't make anybody else do anything. You can only love them. Sometimes they want your love and sometimes they don't. But it's okay. So why is it that in this lifetime this part of you has chosen to go through such moments of not love, not being loved? To find the strength to love yourself Mm -hmm. and to be strong. So has Suzanne done that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her how strong she actually is. You never gave up. You did things that were so hard. And you still loved, even though you hurt. But why does she put herself through such a difficult family, for example? Why did she choose that family? To show them love. Mm. When will it be enough? It's enough. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have to give her about that now? When you know you've done all you can, it's okay to walk away. Mm -hmm. And what about her marriage? Such betrayal. Why did she choose that? To learn that it wasn't her fault. Mm -hmm. Things happen and they're not your fault. But what does she do with that information now? All that hurt. Give it to love. Mm She wants to love. She wants to have a loving partnership, but she's afraid. She's afraid the same will happen. How can she trust in this love? Trust is hard. Mm Mm-hmm. Sometimes the lessons are painful, 
So she has to learn to trust that she can make the right decision. Mm -hmm. She has to be strong. She has to know. She has to listen. Is she listening now? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. She has to listen to that voice and feel that feeling to know when the situation isn't right. Mm -hmm. She has to fine tune how she feels about other people. Mm -hmm. Can't feel sorry for other people. You have to let them live their life. But she's the type of person who is a nurturer, who helps others. How can she just all of a sudden just let them be themselves and not be the one to care for them? She has to honor the person that they are mm -hmm. and trust that they can take care of their own life. Mm -hmm. She can't rescue anybody. Does she need rescuing? Sometimes she feels that way. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you give her when she feels that way? Let people help you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be strong all the time. You don't have to be the little red hen. Mm -hmm. But that's what she knows. Yes. So how can we change that today? To where she can connect even better to that little voice inside that tells her the right, the right way to go. She has to trust herself okay. to be able to talk to people mm -hmm. and tell what's, tell her truth. Her truth, not what she thinks people want to hear. Mm -hmm. No sugar coating? No sugar coating. Mm -hmm. But she dealt. But take her time. Choose, mm -hmm. choose her moments wisely. Okay. She tells me that she doesn't like crowds or people. She prefers to cocoon herself in her own house, not dealing with people. Hard to make decisions about people. What advice do you give her about that? Just do it and trust. Mm -hmm. What do you tell her about her business, what she needs to be doing now? We need to sell the business. Mm -hmm. And she needs to follow her own dream. Okay. So she's been dreaming of moving north. Is that what she should do? She will know when she finds the right house. Ah, okay, good. Who is guiding her? They're here, but she doesn't see them. Mm -hmm. How many are there that guide her at this time? I think she has an army. 
Mm. They were there the whole time. Mm -hmm. Why didn't she know that? Because it's hard to see that through pain. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe when bad things happen. That there's that there is help on the other side. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells you. Mm -hmm. You think you imagine the help. The coincidences aren't real. It's about trusting. Has she always had this army with her? Her whole life? Yes. Mm -hmm. So why did she need to go through such difficult times when she was young? Did she not call on them? She didn't know she could get help. Okay. So now Sometimes she... prayers were unanswered. Mm hmm Why were they unanswered? She didn't hear the answers. Mm. She didn't believe. Mm-hmm. So now that she has this connection, how can she get her answers directly and clearly? Because she says she's been having difficult time meditating. She gets answers outside. Hmm. In what ways? When she's outside with her cats. When she's planting, mm -hmm. when she daydreams. So this is her meditation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what happens when she tries to meditate and she gets that little pain in her forehead? What is that all about? What is that? And it's a little black spot. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me the origin of that black spot? What is it? Is it something she created? No. What is that? Could you help me find the origin of that? We can try. All right, let's focus on that black spot. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap that black spot. And I want you to find the origin of it, where it's coming from. And as I tap, you'll be able to get information. Is that spot coming from Suzanne? Or is it attached to her? It's attached. All right. So as I tap that black spot, I'm going to bring that spot down, down, down to where you can speak. Go ahead and give this black spot your voice and your mouth. You there. 
Are you male or female energy? A male energy. Male. Do you go by a name? No. No. So can you tell me where you come from? Where do you come from? A long time ago. A long time ago. How did you find Suzanne? Very sad. You're, she was very sad. How old was she? She was a little girl. Ah. And where was she when you found her? She was crying on the curb. Uh huh. And how was it that you just came by her and saw her? She was crying so hard. Mm. She didn't notice me. She didn't notice you. And when you were on that curb, how did you get on that curb? Did something happen to you there? I was bullied. You were bullied. How old were you? Five. Five. And what did they call you when you were bullied? My hair was pulled. Your hair was pulled? I was stupid. Mm. Did they tell you you were stupid? I was stupid and ugly. Mm-hmm. Or what did they call you? What was your real name? Listen. Did they call you stupid? Stupid. Mm-hmm. And what happened to you? How did you lose that body? Look and see what happened on the last day of your life in that body. What did they do? I was hit by a car. You were hit by, hit by something big. All right. Where did they hit you? My head. Mm -hmm. So is that why your head hurts all the time? It is. Mm-hmm. Is that why you make her head hurt? Yeah. Mm. Wouldn't you like your head to feel better? Yes. Yeah. It's very easy. Would you like me to help you? Yes. Okay. I want you to look at that spot that hurts so much. And I want you to find a little white light inside of that spot. Can you see a little white spot there? Yes. Very good. That light is full of love. I'd like for you to expand that light spot and make it bigger and bigger until it takes up your entire body. How does that feel? You can now allow all of that pain to go up through that light. And tell me, who do you see in that light? I see a family. Mm -hmm. Is that your family? It is. Would you like to say something to Suzanne before you go to your family? Sorry I hurt you. Mm. Take a deep breath in, Suzanne. Can you forgive this little boy? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and release him from your brow, disconnecting any connections that he has, any cords, and let's disconnect them, cut them, pull them, whatever feels natural to you. And let's allow him to now go with his family. Let me speak with him now. Little boy, mm, how does that feel now? Free. Free. So I'd like for you to go to your family 
and tell me when you get there. Who's there? I see them. Mm-hmm. What do they say to you? Welcome home. Mm, give them a big hug. We made a lot of the universe always yeah. accompany you. Thank you so much. Very good. And now, Suzanne, I want you to go ahead and fill that spot with beautiful golden light. And just spread that gold throughout your entire head. Filling all of the spaces where this little boy was hit. And as you fill it with gold, feel it just transforming back into vibrant health. Very good. With all of that power struggle, all of that violence, look at all of those little thorns you have in your heart. Can you see them? I can. Are you ready to release all those yes. thorns? All right, so I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and I want you to go ahead and begin releasing all of those thorns of fear, of powerlessness, of feeling less than, of feeling weak, of feeling victimized. Pull all of those thorns out. Don't leave any in. Because it's almost like when someone gives you fish and you eat some fish and the thorn, the, the bones get into your mouth. You don't want to keep those bones in there forever. You want to keep, pull them out. It's your responsibility to pull them out and not keep them in your heart. Festering, infecting your heart. Not allowing that heart to grow. So tell me when you've pulled all of that out, all of those fears of the, all those people that have hurt you. Now knowing that all of them just wanted love. See all of the faces of all of those who have done the same. Keep coming. Mm hmm. Keep coming. There's some. Keep pulling it all out. Keep pulling it all out. Keep pulling it all out. All those little prickly little thorns in there. Pull them all out. Tell me when you have them all. Don't leave any in. Think they're all out. Very good. So let's send them all into the universe for healing. Don't leave any in. And now that heart is ready to receive. What would you like to put in that heart? Joy. Let's put lots of joy. Feel that joy going in. Feel it being pushed in. And as that heart pumps, feel that joy just flowing through your body. Almost like as if it was effervescent bubbles bubbly all over. And let's put it into your mind too. What else would you like to put in there? Confidence. Let's put lots of confidence. Confidence in yourself knowing that you came here to learn love, to be love. And now you can move forward knowing that you have survived all of that abuse because others wanted love and they didn't understand that you were there to teach them. So put that confidence in there knowing that that's what you came here to do. You're doing a wonderful job. What else would you like to put in that heart to make you even feel better? Love. And that's with lots of love. Love for yourself. Because when you love yourself, you can then love others. So let's fill that heart up to the brim and overflowing with love. Every time your heart beats, feel that love just flowing through every cell of your body. And let's put it into your mind too, with love always at the forefront of any decision. And let's see how mom is. Mom, what would you like to tell Suzanne right now? I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy, but we always knew we had 
it wasn't easy, but we always knew we loved each other. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, what do you say back? <sighs> Sorry, I was difficult. And I didn't love you more. No, that I didn't, I couldn't show you that I loved you more, but I was confused. Mom, what do you say back? I know who the I was too. And now that you see this from a different perspective, Mom, how do you see the life of Suzanne moving forward? She needs to let herself be loved. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that now, Mom? She could do a better job. Mm -hmm. She needs her boundaries. Tell her. Tell her the truth. Tell her what she needs. Oh, darling daughter. You need to believe in yourself. You need to let yourself be loved. Love doesn't always have to hurt. Mm -hmm. You will know when you find love. You will feel like home. Suzanne, what do you say back to mom? We had the love. I wish I could have been a better daughter. But we know, we know we did the best we could with what we had, with what we knew. And even if the love wasn't always shown it was always there and we know that mom how has that affected her how has that affected Suzanne she's scared mm -hmm. but she's been told she has an army of guides around her she needs to believe mm-hmm Take a look around her and see. Are they willing to help her? They are. Mm -hmm. They are. She just has to ask. Mm -hmm. So you said that genuine love will feel like home, and she's a little confused about her current relationship. What advice do you have to give her about that? You'll know when it's time to leave. Mm hmm Will you be able to help her find a loving relationship? I will. Mm hmm Suzanne, what do you say back to Mom? Thank you. Mm -hmm. She said she owes me one. Mm-hmm. Good. So give your mom a nice big hug. Give her a big hug. Is there anything you need to forgive yourself for in this relationship? Anything you need to release from mom? No, we know we have love. Very good, very good. So she's, let's ask... She's my guardian angel. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's ask your mom about dad. I hear him say, 
I, I'm proud of you, Susu. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, connect with Dad. Connect with him. Dad, what do you have to say to her? I'm so proud of you. You took a difficult situation and and you helped your mother. You got it straightened out. I helped you get He orchestrated me being able to be with my mom. Mm hmm Very good. For her last her last weeks. Wonderful. Very good. Thank you, Dad, for that. Thank you. Mm hmm I knew you were there. So what advice, Dad, do you have to give her about her own children? About how she can help her own children go through all of this that they've been through their whole life? What advice do you give her? They are stronger than you know. And just as you needed to take the time to figure out who you are, they needed to do it too. They will lick their wounds. They will find love slowly, but they will find love. They are as scared as you are, and it's through your example of learning to love again that will help them the most. Mm -hmm. So you can, can you help her also find love at the right time? He's got to be special. Mm-hmm. I'll make you trip over him. I'll put him in your path. You will know. Wonderful. Suzanne, what do you say back to Dad? <sighs> Can you trust your dad to help you with that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love you when I miss you. Mm -hmm. So, Dad, what sign would you like to give Suzanne so that she knows that you're there? Would you like to give her a little sign that when she sees that, she knows that you're it's there? It's the sneezes. Mm hmm When she sneezes like I do, I'm with her. Wonderful. Wonderful. Very good. And the deer in the backyard. Do you bring them also? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, Dad, she's been feeling that she has the weight on her shoulders. What's causing that weight on her shoulders? Feeling like she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. But she's done so much. She's climbed so many mountains that she didn't think she could climb. Mm -hmm. Has she been picking up stones from that mountain and carried them with her? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Why does she need to keep all of these memories of all of these stones? She that she's doesn't. ah. She doesn't so is this why her joints are feeling so disjointed, so heavy, and her shoulders? Is this why her body is weighing her down? She overworks them. Mm-hmm. Is she ready now to release all of those stones she's Whether picked Whether she's up? ready or not, she needs to do okay. it. Okay. Can you help her with that? Yes. All right. So tell me what all those stones look like as she's carrying them in her body. They're like cinder blocks. Mm-hmm. They're like cinder blocks, but I'm smashing them for her. Good. And you know what it's like to work with heavy equipment? I'd like for you to go ahead and 
begin smashing them and hauling them away for her when she's ready to release them. They're turning to dust. Wonderful. Very good. They're going away in the breeze. Wonderful. So allow that breeze to blow those away. And I'd like for you now to send a beautiful light all over your body. What light would you like to use to represent the healing and the transformation now of a healthy, vibrant, glowing body? What light would you like to use? She needs a green light. Very good. So let's bring that green light into the crown of her head. And let's begin to just transform that body from that heavy body into a nice, light, airy, very flexible, very free-flowing, very confident, vibrant body. Use that green light to just flow throughout that whole body. And tell me when that's done. It's done. Very good. So I'd like now to ask for the one who knows why it is that she grinds her teeth so much. What's going on? She doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. What's keeping her from speaking? Afraid of making situations worse. Mm -hmm. So where did that come from? When she spoke up before, mm -hmm. it would get her in trouble. So take a look and see who it was she was getting in trouble with. Teachers at school. Mm -hmm. Her sister. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to go back to that moment in time. We're going to count from five to one and go back to the time when this all began, where you began to hold back those words. When I get to number one, I'll touch your forehead, and we'll be in that moment where you made a decision to not speak again. Five, going through time and space, getting younger and younger. Four, looking for the moment in which you made the decision to no longer speak. Three, Allow the visuals to come now, the memories, two and one. Be there now. How I'm, old are you there? I'm in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm in a classroom, and the nun is talking to everybody, and she's talking about... how somebody was not nice to their sister and not pulling their weight at home. And this nun is shocked and she's not mentioning names, but she's clearly got somebody in mind. And I realize she's talking about me. And everybody and the class turns and looks at me. But she's yelling me at something for I, for something I didn't do. And I tried to speak up. And she wouldn't hear it. She just, she just kept making an example out of me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to bring adult Suzanne into that classroom. Adult Suzanne, I'd like for you to sit next to this little girl and I'd like for you to tell her what she needs to say to that nun. You need to stop it and you need to get your story straight. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what you're talking about, you can't, you can't make an example of this poor girl. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Young Suzanne, what do you say back? Thank you for sticking up for me. Mm-hmm. 
Are you ready to stick up for yourself now? I am. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to speak your truth? I am. All right, so adult Suzanne, I'd like for you to hug this girl. Hug this girl and tell her what she needs to know to grow up to be a strong, very vocal woman speaking her truth. Go ahead and tell her. You need to know your own truth and you have to have confidence in what you know. You need to set your boundaries. Let them talk. Let them say what they need to say because it doesn't affect you. What they think of you is none of your business. It's nobody's business. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you. You know you. Nobody knows who you are. You need to own it. You need to know that you're worthwhile. You need to know that you have value and your opinions help people. But you have to help yourself with your voice. You stand up and stick up for other people. You help other people. You need to do it for yourself. Very good. So now, I'd like for you to go ahead and remove that lump from your throat. And see what it is that you have placed there. What is that lump? It's like a giant apple. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like the Wicked Witch's apple. Mm -hmm. Do we need to have that apple any longer? No. Go. Go ahead and just fling that apple away. We don't need it. And I'd like for you to go ahead and look in that throat and begin to send that beautiful green light soothing that space where that apple was. Now knowing that that throat has enough space and agility now to speak your truth. And the truth has set you free and it will set you free. That what other people think of you is none of your business. That what you think of yourself is the most important truth there is. And that truth will change from day to day and that's okay. It's still your truth and you own it. So feel your teeth relaxing, not having to bite on that apple any longer. Feel your jaw releasing and your throat nice and clear. Very good. And let's take a look now at the armpit and see what is in the armpit. What is that lump there? What are you hiding there? Was that part of the stones? No, oh, it's a reminder. Mm -hmm. What is the reminder? Not, you don't have to do everything. Mm-hmm. Why is it that Suzanne needs to have this reminder? Because she does a lot of things that she doesn't have to do for other people. Mm -hmm. It's good to give, but you need to know when to say stop. Mm -hmm. So that's part of her boundaries? Yeah. So is a lump part of her boundaries keeping her arm from giving too much? Yes, it's mm -hmm. a reminder that she can use her hands. She should, when she overuses her hands to help people, mm -hmm. that it, it's, a rem it's a reminder that she doesn't have to do it. Very good. Very good. So let's keep, keep looking at the body and see if there's anything else in the body that we need to look at today. The neck, the shoulders, the knees, was, all, was this all part of the heavy stones? It was. Mm -hmm. How does it look now? It looks good. Good. 
So let's keep putting some of that green lubricating light in there. Flexing those joints. And what is going on with the skin spots? What is that a message about? What is the skin trying to tell her? I want to remind her to take care of herself. Okay. So in which way should Suzanne be taking care of herself? Creams that she puts on her body. Be natural. Use the sun, but don't abuse the sun. So take a look at the skin and see if there's anything that we need to do with the skin today to transform it into healthy skin. She's good. She's good. Very good. Very good. Now there was a, a moment when she had Lyme disease. What was the message there? She needed a rest. Mm -hmm. forced her to rest and relax and take care of herself. Mm -hmm. Has that allowed her to sleep better now? It did. Okay. So she was telling me that she needed better sleep. Is she sleeping enough now? It is good for her, but she will sleep better. Okay. What about her energy level? Now that she's gotten all of those stones off of her. Her energy will be better. Okay. What about the foggy brain? It's disappearing as we speak. Very good. She tells me that she seems unorganized, clutter. She procrastinates. Mm -hmm. So can I ask on her behalf for one of those army members, her guides, to remind her to do what she needs to do in order to move ahead to find the love that she is looking for, the happiness, the home, the environment. Can we ask for a guide that help her with that so she can take action? Yes. Very good. Very good. So we know that she came in here into this lifetime to find love. What are her superpowers? What is she good at? She says her superpower is smell. Mm -hmm. She is aware of other people mm -hmm. and what other people need. She is. So when she uses her smell, it's almost like a sense? Yeah. A sense of others? Yes. Okay. Kind of like the animals do. Yes. Okay, good. How are her animals? That's Kitty. That's Molly. They're waving from the rainbow bridge. <laughs> Do they ever come around? They do. Mm -hmm. What message do they have for her? Scratching on the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. It 
It's Kitty when the door scratches. She Wonder. thinks she hears it. Mm -hmm. And she goes to the door. Good. It's Kitty every time. Wonderful. What about Molly? Molly is the shadow at your feet. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Do they help protect her? They do. Mm -hmm. Because Susanna is looking for a way to protect herself in the future. What is the best way that she can protect herself? She needs to remind herself every morning mm -hmm. that the earth is a safe place. Good. Very good. She has been rescued. She has been protected. Mm -hmm. She has been protected. She knows. Very good. Very good. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I really you have a blue so eye far. looking at you. Yeah. How are, how was that? That was that was not at all what I expected. Ooh. Yeah. But I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> so how does your body feel after all those stones have I'm been tingling. removed? I'm tingling. I'm hmm? tingling all You're tingling. over. You're tingling. Well, that's usually what happens. You feel that vibration. Yeah. yeah. It's my whole body is. That's good. Yeah. You're, you're spinning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> does it make sense? Yeah. It does. So what do you think about this? This is something you want to share or you want to keep private? Um, I mean, if you think there was anything to be shared, um, it's up to you. Yeah. What do you think? We can take a little personal stuff out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you, I feel, would, unless you feel it's something that's important, but you know. No, anything that I could do to help somebody, if yeah, I, I would share. Wonderful. You know, I'll leave it at your discretion. Yeah. You, yeah. I've never seen anything you shouldn't have put in a video. <laughs> So how long do you think this was? How did it feel to you? About an hour. Mm. We're in about an hour and a half right now. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Suzanne, Ooh. what a session, huh? It was. It yeah. was. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, all tingly right now. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like I just climbed a mountain. And, wow. And I came down the other side in a good way. Now, you had never been hypnotized before. Yeah. So how did it feel to you? Um, like I was awake, mm -hmm. but I, as I saw, I would actually see the visions in my head. Like I oh. could see my mother, okay. I could see um, my father, I could see my, you know, the nun. You wow. Know, um, mm -hmm. So you were able to visualize it, you were able to visualize it. I didn't think I was a good visualizer. That's what happens when people come here and they say, oh, I can't visualize anything. And then they come here. And we did some exercises at the beginning. How it did helped. that help you? It definitely helped. Mm -hmm. So did you feel you were hypnotized? No. And that's the whole thing. Yeah. Hypnosis doesn't feel like anything. Yeah. It, it, it just, he would explain that it was like being hyper aware. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And I was able to put myself in the situation. It, just being able to visualize what I heard my mom say was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very emotional. Yeah, yeah. And what happened when your dad took all that weight off of you? Um, thanks, Dad. That's what dads are for. And it's nice to know that he's on the other side. Yes, and you were told that you had an army of helpers, and that was almost shocking to you. Yeah. Sometimes I've been so incredibly lucky and I don't know how it happens. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like, sometimes I say, well, I should say. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, the way I go is exactly, yes. you know, like somebody says, yeah. do this. And, and we, we all have helpers all the time, but we just don't ask. We I mean, have to ask because... Well, you have to believe that they're really there. Exactly. Because this is a world that we live in mm -hmm. that says, oh, you're crazy, girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I, I have been feeling them more and more in my life, my, my guys. In fact, the other day, I was, I was walking into a room and I, I felt like I had bumped somebody. And it's like, I was laughing. It's like, well, I know you're all with me, but you have to let me in the room first. Because <laughs> it's like I bumped into you. Well, you think you see somebody in the corner of your eyes? Yes. You know, That's sort of like exactly. When you're, when you're walking in a strange place and you see yourself in the mirror and you don't realize it's you, but it's that and that the mirror. Yes. Yeah, it looks great. So do you recommend men in this Absolutely. Everybody has to do this. So how far did you travel today? Uh, I live in New Hampshire. I was mm-hmm. staying in southern New Jersey. So it was about a two and a half hour drive. Wonderful. Well, so, it wasn't that, that far. Well, it wasn't far, but I went over to George Washington Bridge when I didn't need to. <laughs> the Lord George Washington Bridge is yeah. right there. We are but it's still not yeah. in time, so my no, you know, right. body's got you there. Had, had me leave the yeah. house. Exactly. Isn't that great? So I had enough time to, to calm myself <laughs> yeah, <it's right>. <laughs> <laughs> from the crowd. Because, you know, you're looking at weeds and it's yeah. telling you, you know, you've got you know, 20 minutes to spare. So yeah. you know, it's like, you, at that point, you have to just give it up. So I guess I was calling on So, them. yeah, that's where the, the, your, your, your ways were in your time. I have uh, actually yeah. a view of my high school, which is really weird because I graduated from high school 45 years ago and here I am. Having done a spin of my life, uh, living many different lifetimes, and I'm back here just doing these sessions and gathering. So this was a, a wonderful session. It was well, really beautiful. It was nice to meet you in your backyard. Yeah, isn't that crazy? The only other person that I really know lives right down the street isn't that, here. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, which well, gave me the confidence to come here. Because keep you in the business. Well, now I think you're going to feel better because you have your your friends with you. Yeah. Just pack them in the car when you go. Yeah. Just ask them to put your stuff in. Invite them in the car, which is, is really good. Exactly. Bad. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawinman.com. Go to the uh, the actual newsletter page. You have to subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out about once a month. Then on that page, it will tell you when I am putting the newsletter out. When you get it, click on the link really quickly. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, even faster than me. Yeah, right. and I got the last session that was, that was available, yeah, that was which, was, which was good because I would have been confused as to which one to pick, so I think my guides would It was perfect. Me. It was perfect. So click on that link, and um, we'll see if we can see each other for our session. Now, if you don't get the session, I do have gatherings all around the world that I'm doing, and this is to get like-minded individuals who are watching my sessions and who talk about the same subjects and you can talk to others uh, in this group. So it's a really great way to get to know each other. And uh, I'd love to meet you at one of those. So uh, click on the link for the events page and I hope I get to see you there. Thanks for watching this one and uh, we'll see each other soon. Now get that hug. Oh, thank you so much. You did great. Thank you. You did great too. <laughs>